All right, so Matt just picked me up. Today is the first day of yard sailing. I've mapped out probably 21 or so yard sales that we can go to, um, but we're probably gonna hit up maybe, I wanna say 10 of them. Um, and then I also just talked to someone this morning once I realized that I was gonna be in their area because I've been planning on, make it right here. Um, I've been planning on purchasing some, oh! Not make it right there. <laughs> road is closed. <laughs> um, I've been planning on purchasing some poker chips. See if you can make it right here. Um, and so we're, we happen to be down the street from where their house is. So probably gonna swing in and do a little bit of a Craigslist deal as well. All right. Every good day starts with a Smoothie King smoothie. Got the uh, coffee, high protein, mocha almond. Tell you started out, what'd you have for breakfast, Matt? I had some cinnamon toast crunch. Cinnamon toast crunch. Actually, that is how you start a, a day. A freaking, We're about to die. Oh my gosh. I had a freaking bagel. Bro. I wanted to get out on the road. Our biggest haul for the day, I think, and something that he's most excited for is there's this guy that's selling like his entire video game collection and like antique video games and, and everything, so. Um, antique video games. I'm pretty sure it's antique video games. I don't know, I don't know that that's the term for it, but I'll. Continue on Maryland 187 uh, North for three months. They know to use uh, colored paper. The heroes we need. Huge yard sale, Saturday nine to three, let's go. Yard sale. We are out here today, boys. Oh my gosh. All right, so that one was a bit of a bust. We didn't find anything that we wanted there. Um, it was I two PS3 games. It was more of it was some lady who owns an antique shop that was kind of clearing out some inventory. So, not really the type of stuff that we would look for. So, next one. I want to block people in here. Yeah, right in front of the fire hydrant. Yep, you know me. Okay, hey, let's see what we have here. Yeah, All right, we're heading from our first yard sale and I'm so, so pumped. So first off, Matt ended up finding in the free bin, Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders. Oh, so for any of you psychology nerds out there, this is like your holy grail, this is your Bible. Found it for free, so that's a steal. And then I am absolutely pumped Two, not one, but two Wilson tennis rackets, titanium power bridge. I looked it up on eBay while I was sitting there. Each one of these in used condition goes for about 18 to $20. I got two of them and look at that price tag. It's backwards, but $5, five bucks. So I li literally just profited 35 bucks, but I'll probably end up keeping these or at least one of them. Um, but these are worth like 40 bucks. I got them for five bucks. So an awesome, awesome start to today's yard sailing. I'm pumped. And uh, he got his book on uh, mental disorders. Yeah, it's a well-known book. I'm, I'm excited. My brother's uh, maybe into psychology, so I don't know, maybe he'll find some interest in that. There we go. Let's see what we've got here. Oh, look at that dog. <clears throat> All right, so. We accomplished something at that yard sale. There wasn't too much stuff, but he did have a box of PlayStation 2 games, um, and also a PS2 and an Ultimate Fighting Stick. It's just told me to... And Matt does know how to drive. It's a similar ET either way. It, it changed on me as I was making the turn. It's so changed. much salt, so much salt. It told me which way to go, and it changed. How anyways, I anyways, he ended up picking up Xeno Saga. Episode one. Episode one. One. The same developers that made Xenoblade, which is one of the best JRPGs of all time, like 10 years later. This is one of their earlier games. Pretty good game, I've heard. 
So he's excited with that. Uh, he got it for five bucks. Dude wanted 40 for the whole box. It probably had maybe 15 or so games in it. All those games a, are throwing. In a PS2, but. I saw but, like, in, I saw like NFL 2007 or something. Yeah, so they weren't that great of games. This is probably one of the better ones there. Um, Matt offered him five bucks. Probably could have got him a little cheaper, um, but offered him five bucks. This game, aftermarket, worth maybe 15, 20, but he'll probably keep it for his collection. Yeah. Um, but if he wanted to sell it, he could probably make a solid five, 10 bucks off of it. So good, per good buy. Right now we're heading to another video game yard sale, which hopefully has some extra stuff uh, more along you know, more in his alley. So yeah, we'll check that out. If it's a guy selling his collection, you don't know what kind of deals you're gonna get, but I guess we'll see. We'll see. I like this. This is cool. Yeah. That's super cool. Sure. I must say, this is a really cool collection that you have here. I like it all. <laughs> yeah? I have a whole room. Wow, all of the walls. Those, see those frames? I have 21 of those. Oh, those? Yeah, they hold 50 cars each. And you have 21 times 50? Full of them. And that's not count what I have in my basement closet. Uh, all right. We're about, to, we're about to get out. I don't know why you're... Got some fun okay. stuff. I picked up this game, The Game of Things. It's one of those, like, Cards Against Humanity games. Um, kind of. I don't know. It's an adult card game. So... Uh, he wanted five, he got three for it, um, and he agreed to do three, and then I found another game called, instead of Cards Against Humanity, it's Art Against Humanity. Or no, Acts of Insanity. So, uh, I picked up that, and then I also picked up two mugs. This looks like clothes. So, wait, we go somewhere else. I picked up this Christmas singing mug. Um, for two dollars and I picked up another one for two dollars as well so four dollars total on that I was looking up on eBay kind of is you know as I was walking around and I think they're worth about 20 bucks a pop brand new which they are so uh, yeah that's a solid find um, making some good profit today uh, we just pulled up to another yard sale this looks a little clothy a little clothy and not really our style but we'll check it out pull up a little bit more Let's just see what, uh... Oh my god, I'm gonna look like the creepiest freaking dude. No, we're just checking it out. We're doing a drive-by, bro. Yeah, there's nothing here. Keep rolling, keep rolling. We're out. Alright, what is the address? We're out of here. Oh my god. No, I'll bring it closer. No, oh no. This thing <laughs> won't shut the f*** up. Well, now I can't use that. Dude. These things sing. It has been going off in the back of our car for literally the past five minutes. Just every turn we make, these two mugs just start screaming Christmas carols. It's hilarious. But we got a good deal on them, so it's well worth it, even if we have to listen to Christmas music in the middle of July. All right, so next step on the uh, journey, I am actually buying something off of Craigslist. I've been talking to 
the owner of a set of poker chips for the past, gosh, like three weeks trying to find a time to uh, meet him. Um, and so while we were out yard sailing, I texted him and he said that he's, he's around. So uh, we actually just pulled up to the uh, location. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm buying a pair of poker chips because I ended up throwing a poker party about three weeks ago and uh, we didn't have any poker. So um, this is me picking up some poker chips. I'm looking, I'm not sure, I might not buy them. Um, they look real, they, he said they're like tournament standards or tournament quality, um, but I'm really worried because I want them to be clay. I do not want plastic poker chips. So that's the only issue that we would run into with this sale. I'm getting like a tournament poker set for like 15 bucks. Um, but if it is plastic, then I'm just gonna kind of call it out, call it off, so we'll see. Carter goes into the abyss to never be seen again. He's probably gonna die up there. Rest in peace. All right. We got them, look at this. Full on clay poker set, Texas Hold'em. Got two decks of cards, real poker chips. It was a good buy, it was a good buy, 15 bucks. Very nice. So, very content. Now we've got- You leaked a uh, uh, chip on your crotch. No, it's- Oh. It's, <laughs> <laughs> so we're good. Hey, I'm the target of- All right, balls. so, I tried to get a good video of me buying the poker set, but I gave the phone to Matt and said, hey, hit the record button when the person arrives so you can see me negotiating or doing the deal in front of the apartment complex. And this man waits literally 30 seconds into the conversation to start recording, and I'm walking up the stairs to the guy's house. Like, literally walking up the stairs to the guy's house, and Matt starts recording. I don't know how he missed the entire interaction in the front yard. And then, I'm walking down the stairs, and he gives me a thumbs up. Hey, dude, yeah, I'm recording. And this guy <laughs> starts recording once I get to the car. So, I, I, I don't know what to say. This, we try to be good, we try to get good videos, but Matt's an old man. Yeah. He's the type of person that's like, oh, yeah, dude, it's recording, and he's taking pictures. That's, that's Matt. That's what I have to deal with. Two Wilson rackets, five dollars combined. Each of these worth about twenty bucks. Basically, brand new condition. This picture, ten bucks. Got it from my office. That's about it. This one, twenty dollars. Has a really nice frame. Not sure the worth, but I like it a lot. Um, and then this one, I negotiated in for free as well. Texas Hold'em tournament poker set, fifteen bucks. Not too bad. Two card games, The Game of Things, and uh, Acts of Insanity. Both of them kind of like Cards Against Humanity. Three dollars a pop. He wanted five, got three for each. All right, we got a free copy of DSM-4. Like about a 500 page book, lots of paper. It's probably worth more than, I mean the paper alone is probably worth five dollars. And then Xeno Saga, good game for PS2, five dollars. Oh my God. Lastly, two Telco Christmas mugs that play Christmas carols when you pick them up and drink out of them. They're vintage Telco mugs. As I was walking around, I Googled it. Uh, about 20 bucks a pop. Got these for $2 a piece. So, massive profit on those. All right, so that's about it. That's the haul that we were out for probably, what was that, like three hours, three, hours, three and a half hours. Um, I think hit up maybe eight or nine sales. Um, and. We got some good stuff. So pretty successful Saturday. Um, no complaints here. Uh, I'm, most of the stuff probably not even gonna sell, just gonna keep it as kind of personal use stuff, but you know, we'll see. Anything to say, Matt? No. Peace.